We are two sisters with few fears and great ambition, ready to take on the world one ocean at a time. Welcome to another week of Sailing, Sailing the, the Far, far Side. <laughs> so, so if you guys haven't noticed, and I know we've mentioned multiple times, again, we have more boat projects. So we like to take you along with our projects. Show, and what, show you what we are up to and what we are fixing this week. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like we get maybe a day or two of a break out of the engine compartment or the build yeah. or the rudder shaft compartment or, or somewhere. Or the engine. Yeah, it's just never a ends. never ending list. You cross it off and then you have to write it back on. So this week we had to change our transmission oil and clean out that area and also change our engine oil and then clean out the bilge. So as you saw last week, we had no seal left in our transmission, the transmission arm. The ATF was f pretty much pouring out of there and then um, getting in the bilge. And then there was uh, a lot of friction buildup when that shaft, um, when the bearings were turning around the shaft. So it caused some metal particles and metal dust, which is not great at all. And now we're cleaning out the old ATF with those metal, metal particles and the dust. Um, and putting some fresh ATF in there so that way we have no issues. So that was a big project. So you have to scoop it out of the bilge. Right. Hey, well, can you give me that? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I kind of dropped it all in the thingy. It's okay, you'll just have to scoop it out. Great time down here. <sighs> it's a girl. <laughs> Congratulations, welcome to the world. So we've got some mucus like old bilge scum. Ew. So I gotta clean this up. Should have done this in the yard, but totally would have made it a little bit easier. Here you go. transmission oil in. A uh, quick question though. How do we know all that dust is out? We sometimes just gotta change it a couple times, but it should be mostly out because you can tell from the oil it's mixed in. That when you ran the engine, it mixed all that stuff together. I have to get down there again. <laughs> oh my Today? God. No, obviously not. We have to run the engine in yes. here for the transmission oil to, you know, mix with the metal particles. Yummy. Nice and clean. Okay, so the transmission oil is in. The top is tightened. The bilge is cleaned out somewhat. It looks... Okay, it could still use a little work, but it looks as good as new. See here, this is... That's all exhaust. So we'll have to go in here and do a nice deep cleaning eventually. But... That's nice. That's where the transmission oil goes in. All nice and tight, somewhat clean. 
And then we had to clean the bilge, which we should have done. Let we should have done back in Florida. Yeah. Gross. And then yeah, it was really gross. And then the engine was just at over a hundred hours. So around a hundred hours is when we switch out the oil, um, do a little oil change. Now on to the oil. The oil I did it last time, so Here. Tasha's doing it. Might be the same as the one we had. Yep. Yeah. Don't spill. You can, you can, like crush the bowl so it's not round. Ugh, oil smells so. That would have been funny. So when I went down to unscrew the little drain plug for the oil, I there was some oil on my hands, and uh, that's because this seal is cracked. Let's see where I, there it is. So you can see it's cracked. What row? So it was causing some oil leaking, which is not good. No way. Bueno. Seems to be all of our seals are going bad. Old engine. Can I see the plug? <laughs> Why you always got to be double checking? Well, because the first time you do it, I check. I, the oh, next time you do it, I, I guess it's check. her first time, but it wasn't mine. Pass or fail? So far, I'm at like a B minus. <laughs> Maybe more like a C plus. Good? Pass? Barely? Still Z plus. All right. Gotta put more oil. So I just got a little bit of cleaning up to do. That's what happens when you make a mess. Uh. Done. 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 We you got something on your face. <laughs> So we also had some oil in the bilge, just emptied out the entire bilge, tried to clean it out as best we could, put some Dawn soapy, Dawn soapy water in there to hopefully, down, yeah. to hopefully break up the rest of the oil. Um, just that transmission fluid got everywhere. But uh, so far, I think everything looks good right now. We're just going to keep an eye and make sure that we have no oil leaking from the engine. I'll put this back and we're all done. Yay! We're gonna go have dinner on a friend's boat. We're gonna have chicken curry, and I made some goombay smash and brownies. So, big, a lot of projects. Anyways. And then, we had a little bit of fun. Uh, we met some nice people, and as in last week's episode, we met an Englishman, well, two. two Englishmen, and an American who were sailing on High Fang. They were three guys, kind of, uh, they Enjoying were, their time yeah, on the boat. They were both, they were all just on a big old catamaran, so we ended up going over there for dinner. I made some brownies and goumet smash, which is, it's delicious, but it's also pretty strong. Wait, what time is it? Happy hour? I'll pay you. Happy hour? Food? Happy hour? All right, there you go. Come on. It's cold. Uh, well, I'm not hopping in. We're going to dinner and she had to clean, but she didn't want to jump in because it's too cold. So, just dunking the hair in. That works too, though. <laughs> Alright, so we're having a party. Made some hummus earlier. They are making chicken curry. I made some brownies and goopy smash. And they have ice. So we're getting some ice for the goopy smash. A Swedish boat beat us. Um, and then all the guys are way behind us. The Swedish boat right for Dinner time. We just had a really good strategy. They motored right off the start. What's for dinner, Sasha? You should ask Actually, him. what's for dinner, Tim? This is a uh, little chicken tikka masala <laughs> with a uh, mild spice, <laughs> with some fennel seeds and okay. some white basmati rice. I don't think you can put it on the video. You're gonna be so embarrassed, but it's going in there. 
It looks well, delicious. Yeah, wow. But motoring would have been. I, know, yeah. I feel like we only eat good dinners on other well, boats. Yeah. I'm sorry about Oh, and then, of course, every week, dinghy issues. <laughs> Dingy engine issues. Dingy engine issues, yeah. Yes, that's what you get for having old stuff. Uh, we were gonna go see the pigs, got all cute and dressed up, and then of course we ended up having to be rescued by Papa. Someone. Actually, someone and Sasha. There. Uh, you'll see us struggling and then trying to find a way to get to the boat without getting wet. But, uh, you know, it always. Someone had to volunteer as tribute in. <laughs> Swing back. 
we're, we're good. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> no! No, you don't, no, yeah, that's good, that's good, just, that's no, good, that's good. it's that's good. not over it. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Then we ended up moving um, spots. With the dinghy issues, we thought maybe it'd be nicer to be closer to the yacht club and we were going to be getting a little bit of weather, so we thought we'd move over there. On the road again. I just can't wait to be on the road again. Where are we going? To get a little more protected from the west wind we're gonna be having. We wanted to pretend like we were leaving, so we're just moving spots. We've been standing put too long. It makes us feel a little better about ourselves. It makes us feel like we're <laughs> thing. We got a west wind Even coming in. Even though we're in. only going half a mile. <laughs> yeah, we got a west wind coming in, so we got to yeah. go a little more. So yeah, be a little closer to the yacht club, you know, the rents like to be a little closer to the bar. Saturday I'm night. I'm joking. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Happy hour. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. our charter guests. Yes. They're really enjoying themselves. <laughs> nice job, nice job. I'm gonna, I want to come back next week and stay another two weeks. Yeah, right. Next. Yeah, you got an opening, you got space. Sorry, we got nothing. Our schedule totally booked for the next two months. Oh, I'll take double, double. <laughs> take double, huh? Take double. Walk, All right, maybe now we're talking. Oh, cook? Now we're talking. Okay, maybe, maybe, oh, maybe. Maybe now, now we're talking. Dishes. Do dishes. I'll do dishes. <laughs> questions about our helm and um, we just thought we would address that so that way we can let you guys know and show you exactly why we have our small wheel here cute little wheel leaves a lot of room around the cockpit the floor is down right now because I just want to show you guys we do have a larger wheel Wow Sasha that's a big wheel wow. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it would make life a little easier but um, as you can see when we put this up causes a little less room around the cockpit. You can see we keep our dive tanks and everything inside the cockpit right now. And, and to have this walk. wheel up, yeah, we have to put the floorboard down. And um, with the dogs running around, with us being clumsy and everything, it's just a bit of a hassle. And when we're sailing, we really don't use the helm very much just to get in and out of the channel, move anchorages, and it's really not that big of a problem. Now, if we do have to hand steer or we do use the helm a little bit more, we will swap out to the larger wheel. But for now, we do have her in storage and uh, have her handy for whenever we do need to use her. But yeah, that's why we use a small wheel. It's cute, we don't use it a lot. We do have a bigger one. We Moral do. The story. So for those of you who have this been This is our choice. <laughs> yeah, our choice. We can put the larger wheel on, but it is a beautiful wheel, isn't it? It is. Look at that. Look Fancy. At that. But All yeah, right. so that's the story behind the helm. <laughs>
are whipping through here. Whipping. a mooring. We're just going to anchor and see how it goes from there. <laughs> I don't know, Bob. I think it's going to be a little bit off. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I think you're gonna get it. It might be faster if you uh, <laughs> start the engine. After we moved, we just decided that it was better for us to swap out the engines and put our 15 horsepower on, which is really reliable. It's just yeah. not as fast with the four of us in the dinghy. Not so um, we just had to make do, no issues. And next project, clean the carburetor. Which uh, will happen eventually. Yeah, we kind of, or Natalie figured that one out, but yeah. postponed it for a few weeks, so. Yeah. And then our friends from Endless Wisdom um, were going to donate the rest of their galley items. Uh, their like, charter was over, so they had all They're non-perishables, yep. Yeah. So we went over there and they happened to be going to the pigs. So we went in our pajamas and uh, saw the pigs and then stocked up uh, on food. They are awesome, Tristan. Esteban and Rosie and then uh, Jeff Wisdom. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for us. Yeah. Um, it just really means a lot that we have people there that just believe in us. And I know a lot of you do too, mm -hmm. but they've just really helped us and supported us over the last few weeks. And um, we just really appreciate everything you guys have done for us. So yeah. thanks. Thanks so much. And yeah, we had some extra items to put in our pantry, which was some goodies that we normally would not have gotten. So was that was very exciting. Definitely a special treat.
stores, they have their menus. We got to go and go shopping in their pantry. It was awesome. We got some really yummy jelly. Got some olive tomponade, which we never buy ourselves. We got some really nice salad dressings, some more peanut butter, some quick rice recipes. It was awesome. This is the kind of hunting and gathering I really like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later. <laughs> oh my goodness. I Give us a good shout out. Oh, oh, we will. Ah. Is there like a... You take it easy. Thank Give you. Us a These guys are Thank awesome. you guys. You guys are amazing. No problem, guys. The crew of Endless Wisdom. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it all. We're going to eat so good tonight. Yes, guys. <laughs> Got some good provisions. Oh, you Thank you. See your eyes soon. Yes, very soon. Just let us know, and hopefully we'll see you again somewhere along the line. Yeah. So how we get Bye. Bye. Safe travels. Bye, girls. Safe Bye. travels on those journeys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Luckily we had that restock because we have some weather coming our way, which you'll have to stay tuned to watch in next week's episode. Yeah. Thanks again guys for tuning in. Again, like, share, subscribe, subscribe. Check out all of our links. We got links for gear, links for helping us out with through Patreon, mm -hmm. our oh, check Instagram. Check out our Patreon, we'll have it linked up above. Yep, our, <laughs> our Instagram, um, Facebook. Down below. Where all of our up-to-date. Um, Somewhat up-to-date. Adventures are occurring. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Wish lists. Mm -hmm. uh, just, we, we love your guys' support. And um, whether it just be through following us, Helping us out. And comment. Again, comment, guys, please. Yes, we, we love, love hearing your guys' Love, feedback. love talking to everybody as well. Mm -hmm. And if you're out here, guys, don't don't be a stranger. We don't bite. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. All right, guys. Thank you so much again. It's Natalie. And Sasha. From Sailing, Sailing the Far Side. Side. Stop!